existence is the experiencer how so i'm going to ask this in the satsang again how <laughs> how is this existence the experiencer are you not the experiencer is this this human being not the experiencer suddenly hmm how is experiencer the and uh, the existence itself so this this was a um, point where ignorance is present in aprajita you should review this completely because this is the first thing we say in the first lesson isn't it after defining the existence and experiencer what do i say <laughs> existence is the experiencer and there people probably leave it that probably he said it so it must be there but no the whole of the program now explains why it is at least up to the lesson number 20 we go on explaining why the existence is the experiencer i'll give you the hint the hint is the essence mukta is saying because both have same element which element is there any elements Ele- are there any elements in the existence in the experiencer siddhant is saying all experiences happen in existence but that we are not asking that we are asking how is the existence an experiencer is zero yes it is zero it is empty like we don't even say zero we say emptiness but then the question will become how is emptiness the experiencer how is emptiness the experiencer it should be totally empty no it should be a dead space zero why it is alive mukta is saying no reason no no i am not asking for a reason which makes it into experiencer i am asking the logical explanation how is not a why question the no reason comes out to be the answer to the why question why is the existence experiencer why it needs to experience anything and then you can safely say no reason it's a meaningless question it is like this no answer to that no answer needed also so mukta is saying I said that this thing existence is itself an experience it is an experience yes but is it is also an experiencer the experiencer mukta is saying because experience is also fake only possibility so what mukta needs to get the knowledge are you in the program or not are you listening to the videos or not but we guess saying there is nothing else only experience you are 50% right Par- parvekar has already completed the program <laughs> so he will he will mostly say right things pratip is right yes pratip is absolutely right experiencer is the substance of the existence you can remove the word substance put essence experiencer is the essence of existence it is the only thing that does not change in the existence essentially the existence is the experiencer you see can you see mera is saying existence is equal, is equal to experiencer per experience where experiences are false and experiencer is the only truth and changeable so the existence is the experiencer and that is the perfect answer now you know why mera is right because she is conducting the 3d programs for people this is what we say in the 3d program when we are giving the knowledge of the non duality we explain it like this this is the at least according to me this is the finest answer there are more ways to um, convince these things about these things but uh, existence is everything in everything includes everything means only two things you see the duality of the experience and the experiencer they include everything there is no third and this duality one is just like waves and the other is just like water so the substance or the essence comes out to be the water or the experiencer which is unchanging waves are like the experiences vibrations only changing fake false can be anything they appear as anything you see all possibilities are there that is not the essence so my essence is actually the essence of the existence and so it is the essence of everybody and everything the whole of the existence is impregnated with this experiencer this power to behold itself the new definition of the experiencer isn't it the witness sitta is saying existence is all there is experiencer is what we arrive at after reducing everything the essence that there is very good yes remember the word essence i gave you the hint also 
you see this these tests are very helpful for those who are not even in the program those who are not even giving appearing in the test they also learn a lot simply asking the questions most of the th- time you are asking me questions but when i start asking the questions <laughs> real knowledge flows isn't it because a seeker mostly does not even know what to ask poor creature the people do not know what to ask so when the guru starts asking then it is havoc shri is saying experiencer is only experiencing and it is that which only is existence is also that which is the whole but empty yes, that is the non dual point of view that uh, there is experiencing only no need to break it down into duality however the question was concerning the duality only uh, what i am asking there is what is the essence of the existence and you must be thinking oh this existence is whole big thing all the galaxies and all the worlds and universes of all kinds and all no that is not it not the existence actually that is the fake show <laughs> huge amount of it huge amount of fakeness because it is capable of doing it the existence is very simple it is emptiness which has the capability to witness right here right now you are that existence very simple that which is simplest is the existence that which is most complex and biggest is the illusion anyhow let's go further how can you exist without taking birth she got 0.5 marks there good answer anyway so i exist i'm birthless i all alo- i alone exist you see that which takes birth is a body or any other thing you see a form a pattern is born that is not me so very good answer but i was expecting more explanation i alone exist the that which take birth does not exist it is an illusion this must be the answer if this body is non essential why am i bound to it she got full marks it's non essential it is only an experience nobody is bound to it you are having an experience of the body the body is bound not the experiencer of the body you see this is uh, probably more beautiful answer but her answer was also good oh but why i need to have this all these limited experiences if i am free you know people ask experiences are limited not you the experiences do not define the experiencer it can have any experiences only the meaning you see that's what aparajita said that the body limits the vibration so that they are meaningful yes you will lose meaning if you get all the experience if you if you remove the uh, limitation of the senses which are on the body you see, without body no senses you you will re, you will you will remove the meaning also the example of the pinhole camera is best here you want more pictures you want a bigger picture so you increase the size of the hole and what do you see no picture everything is coming in on the screen now reduce the size of the hole then the clear picture meaning appears suddenly so these limitations are there for a purpose now you can say that but that, that does not mean that that the experience is limited just like in the pinhole camera the limitation the narrow hole is you know limitation of the hole but not of the screen the screen can take in any picture it, you, you can produce anything there project anything there it is capable of receiving it only that it the more you put, uh, throw there the less meaningful it will become why is this world so solid why does it look so convincing that it can fool any intelligent person all the intelligent people are fooled by it actually they say it is real and the reason is because it is limited limited by laws limited by time and so on you see slow changing there is no rand- uh, no there is randomness but it is not overwhelming everything happens slowly and so on according to the laws the mind has isolated the randomness out of order the mind has ignored the disorder focused on the order this is the attractor function of the mind and uh, that is why it looks so solid otherwise nothing it's all chaos here 
Akash is saying, when we talk about anything, our mind creates images. Likewise, I imagine a circular mesh flowing freely in river. River is the experience passing through the mesh. How one imagines the experience? Are you asking the question or are you telling me? Don't understand the question. Yes, the river, you see, that is a good metaphor. That, uh, the, exp- the flow of the experience is like a river. We sample only a little bit of it. So that it is meaningful. It's not like a flood of everything. So he's asking how one imagine the experiencer. Do we imagine the experiencer? We never imagine the experiencer. There is no need. That which is imagining, that which is witnessing the imagination of any kind is the experiencer. You see, why do we need to imagine it? You are it. If you imagine it, it will, it will be a wrong picture. Truth cannot be imagined. And the illusion is always an imagination. 